Amid the fast-changing geopolitics in Asia-Pacific and the power rivalry in South Asia, today we will look at its impact and the political changes in Nepal. So to discuss the, on that, we have been joined by Nepal's newly appointed foreign minister, Narayan Prakash Saud. Hello, sir. Welcome to Vyond. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. Sir, so I will start with our latest, where Nepal has started exporting electricity to India. And uh, how do you think this, its uh, relation with India is benefiting Nepal economically? Uh, India and Nepal are very old friends. We have cordial relation and um, uh, we have a very close relation. Uh, and now uh, we are trying to um, uh, do some trade in hydroelectricity. Uh, India is, we are seeking the Indian investment in Nepal, especially uh, more and more in uh, hydroelectricity production and transmission also. And we want to purchase our electricity to India. Uh, they also need the clean energy and we think that um, a big deal among Nepal and India will help the future of the country. Okay, so talking about Nepal and India, uh, Nepal Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dhal will soon embark on his visit to India. So there has been a lot of build-up and anticipation around the visit. Could you just focus on, take us through on the top agendas and the key focus areas of the visit? We have very good relation and first of uh, all, this is a high-level uh, visit among the uh, after election of our Prime Minister and it will develop the understanding between the two leaders and the pending issues will be resolved in the uh, dialogue between the two leaders. We have uh, not only one or two agenda, we have different agendas with India uh, like uh, power production, power purchasing, connectivity, uh, transit, trade, um, our roads, um, 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 bridges, railway, there are too many agendas and we are willing to discuss on these agendas and I think uh, we will move forward in some agendas positively. So you mentioned about the power production, the connectivity between the two countries. How much, uh, how can these uh, agreements and projects mean for Nepal-India ties? What importance can it or what push can it give to Nepal-India ties? Uh, we, uh, we want to, to uh, build the hydro project in Nepal. Hydroelectricity is one of the major source, uh, natural resources of Nepal. And India needs, uh, India has uh, need of the power because India is growing very fastly and they need um, clean energy. Uh, if we um, uh, we purchase the power to India and uh, Bangladesh also by India and then it will change the dynamics of our trade and balance of payment. So uh, we need uh, the understanding between India, Nepal and Bangladesh. This is a uh, very important key factor and India is growing economy so India um, uh, we are uh, willing to um, Indian investment, more and more in Indian investment and Nepal, in Nepal, uh, hydro uh, projects and other projects also. So uh, this visit will enhance uh, um, uh, those relations between the countries. Sir, as a new foreign minister of Nepal, uh, what is your key focus on in foreign relations and uh, foreign affairs? On uh, how do you want to take Nepal's foreign policy forward? Uh, Nepal is a peaceful country and Nepal is long history uh, as a mature, as an independent nation. So, uh, our foreign the, in the center of our foreign policy, uh, we believe in our independency, uh, sovereignty, uh, and our, um, our uh, uh, good relation with the, all the countries of the world, uh, especially neighbors also. Uh, India is our very close, um, in, we have very close relation with India, 
these are the political, social, uh, economic relations. Uh, although uh, we have uh, 1800 border kilometer border with India, uh, so uh, uh, most of the business, two third of the business, uh, we are doing trade. We, we are doing with India. Uh, so uh, India, the relation with India is very important for us. Uh, China in the north, we, have, we also have uh, 1400 kilometer border with China and China is also a good neighbor and friendly country with, uh, to us. Uh, so we want to um, be, make the balance uh, between the uh, countries according to the national interest of the country. Uh, and uh, we are uh, going forward on this way. And sir, how difficult it is, uh, it is to maintain the geostrategic balance, keeping like the economy in interest, just like you mentioned? It's not the matter of one year, two years, six months. Uh, since 250 years, Nepal is an independent country and it has uh, run the independent foreign policy. We believe in non-alignment movement. We, we follow the um, guidelines of the uh, United Nations Charter. Uh, and with India and China, um, they understand uh, our position. And we, uh, we are uh, indulged in both, with both the country uh, in reasonable way. Uh, although uh, both of the countries are the big in size and population, uh, but uh, there is no any uh, special uh, type of problem for us because uh, both the countries, they are grooming and uh, their development is opportunity for Nepal. Sir, you mentioned about your relations maintaining about India and China, but we have seen about, just like I asked you about the economy in interest. So, but we have seen what happened in Sri Lanka with the fear of the China debt trap and uh, how to go about with the further economy. Do you, do you ever think that Nepal will fall under the same parallel or will face the same challenge? Uh, we, uh, we have a priorities in economic development. Uh, uh, we will choose the viable projects and uh, in the big and large project, uh, we will not uh, take the risk. Uh, such type of project, if any country will provide us in grants, that's okay. Uh, but uh, uh, we will not take the risk in, uh, uh, in investment of such a big uh, uh, projects and there is no uh, any viability to success. Sir, to my surprise, just like you mentioned about the big projects and about the big investment, the viability of the projects. So, sir, just uh, following up with your answer, do you think that the Trans Himalayan Railway that China is building and the team is currently in Nepal carrying out the survey study, that is uh, like a national need because that will cost Nepal almost $8 billion. That is one-fourth of the total country's GDP. So, do you think that this Trans Himalayan Railway is a country? I don't, I don't want to speak about a specific project. Uh, any project who is viable to Nepal and in the priority of Nepalese people, in the interest of Nepalese people, will take it uh, and uh, both the countries are big in size. If they provide us in grants, uh, then they are welcome. So, uh, but if uh, in debit terms, uh, if uh, we will check uh, uh, 10 times in uh, about the viability of any kind of project, from any side. Sure, of course, sir, just like, uh, so you, you, you're saying that the trans Himalayan Railway is a national need and it is viable for the country like Nepal? No, I already have told you that I don't want to speak about any special projects and special nation. I just uh, telling you in principle that uh, we can prioritize our uh, projects uh, and if uh, economically viable, uh, and in terms of technically viable, uh, then we can cho choice the project and uh, if uh, the big countries, especially China, India, they will provide us in grant, it will be better. So sir, is Nepal uh, requesting China to build this railway in grant? Uh, if any country will uh, propose us uh, uh, making any project, big project in grants, we will welcome it. Has there been any discussion with China on this? 
No, we don't have uh, discussion yet. But uh, uh, if any country wanted to provide us, uh, not in loan, it's in grant, uh, something which is which might be which is positive to us, which is fretful to us, uh, there is no reason that we will. Uh, avoid to take it. Sir, uh, we have seen the successive governments in past Nepal uh, where they have been a little hesitant on implementing BRI projects in Nepal. So, what is the stand of the current government? Would they go forward with it? Principally, we already, uh, our government already have decided to uh, take project from BRI. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are specific in uh, determining the um, uh, priorities. And uh, in big proje projects, uh, 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 taking loan is not our priority. If uh, any project, such big project, uh, they will be uh, came from grant. I already told you that uh, they are welcome. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, I would like to ask you, with uh, coming back to our uh, foreign policy, uh, how much is uh, the border issue a concern for Nepal's uh, while in keeping in terms of diplomatic relations? Uh, India and Nepal has long uh, uh, relations. Uh, these relations are from ancient history. Uh, people to people relation, there is people to people relation, government to government relation, nation to nation relation. Uh, so, uh, relation with uh, India is a lifestyle for Nepal. So I don't think uh, that uh, in a single agenda or relation will be um, be shrinked or narrowed down. Uh, so uh, in business, connectivity, trade, uh, uh, all relation will go forward and uh, about border issues uh, or uh, teams in different level, uh, boundary working groups are has already worked in this matter and in most of the places the issue has been solved. But the remaining uh, places like uh, Kalapani, Susta and these places uh, we are we will be we wanted to start the negotiation and with the diplomatic uh, process we will resolve the uh, boundary problem with both the country. Uh, sir, um, last the previous government that was under uh, Sher Bahadur Deoba from the Nepali Congress, the party that you are from, the, they conducted a survey about, along the Nepal-China border and many issues and concerns were raised uh, by the uh, border experts here in Kathmandu. So has there been any uh, progress with that, uh, you know, the survey that has come out to discuss that with China about the concerns that Nepal has? Uh, we have a firm foreign policy about uh, the borders uh, with the neighbors. Uh, uh, we, we will resolve uh, our border issues with uh, diplomatic process, but with dialogue, uh, and uh, we don't think that no issues between uh, Nepal, India, and Nepal, China uh, are there, uh, which cannot be resolved by uh, dialogue. Uh, sir, um we have seen that in the past uh, one year especially, uh, the, you know, U.S. visits has increased in Nepal. Uh, many high-level visits have happened. Uh, so by any chance, do you think Nepal will rethink on its stand of joining the SPP, the, uh, the State Partnership uh, Program? Uh, foreign uh, people, important people, they came to Nepal uh, due to uh, their friendship with Nepal. Uh, if there is any geo-strategic point of view also, it's up to them. Uh, but uh, we have a, um, we are a non-aligned nation. Uh, our foreign policy is uh, depend on uh, non-aligned policy. Uh, we are not any part of any uh, military uh, network in the world, alliance in the world. Uh, so those uh, relations with any country which uh, uh, are in economic uh, cooperation and friendship, uh, those relations will continue. Uh, we have a very good relation with Americans and Western uh, friends. Uh, and I think uh, uh, as if you, you think about uh, any military uh, engagement, uh, then 
uh, we already have a clear uh, or final stand to all the countries. Okay, so Nepal will not be joining, that's what you're trying to say? No, I already have told you that uh, we are uh, non-aligned country, uh, we are uh, no more any part of any military alliance uh, in the world. If there are economic and other type of relations, we are very close to uh, the western countries and the neighbors. Uh, but if uh, there is military alliance, we are not joining, uh, uh, we are not any part of uh, that kinds of uh, uh, relations. Okay, so talking about US and our neighbor China, do you think uh, the US-China rivalry in South Asia uh, is like impacting Nepal because uh, last year we saw with the ratification of the MCC and that created a lot of protest and many people were detained and hurt during the protest. So do you think that that is impacting Nepal in any way, the rivalry between US and China? Uh, there was some confusion about uh, um, MCC and it was um, uh, removed uh, from the mind of the people. Uh, it was a grant. Uh, there was no any um, thing like military or any kind of intervention. It was a fairly uh, economic package. Uh, and, and I don't think uh, that such type of package are any, uh, taking such type of economic cooperation is any problem for Nepal. Uh, you are telling me about Indo uh, China relationship and they are the uh, uh, very big powers in the regions uh, and uh, I think that uh, they are economically grooming and they uh, understand our geopolitical location uh, and China uh, understand that uh, Nepal is very, Nepal has to make very good relation with India uh, and India also know that uh, China is northern border of uh, India. So, uh, they understand our uh, geopolitical uh, position and uh, they are both our, our friend, they respect our sovereignty uh, and I think that uh, 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 if there is any um, different uh, le approach, thing, uh, level of uh, thinking approach uh, towards seeing Nepal, um, they should, um, uh, they understand us, I think so. Sir, uh, ending with our uh, domestic issue of the Bhutanese refugee scam, uh, this scandal, the investigation into this scandal has uh, shown a lot of sides of Nepal where the corruption has been on surface. Do you think in any way this uh, scandal has tainted India, uh, Nepal's image uh, in international community? Uh, this is subjudice case. Uh, the case is on the court. Uh, being in government, I don't want to speak about the matter wh which is in the court. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, thank for you. speaking to us. Thank you. And thank you for thank answering you. to all the questions. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you.